Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving inequality, a concept that often presents challenges for beginners. Today's problem is as follows. Suppose a plus b plus c equals 1 and a, b, c are all greater than 0. We need to find the minimum value of a square plus 4b square plus c square. Before we dive into the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button grab a pen and paper and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answers in the comment. Then let's explore the solution together. Let's get started. We will present three different methods to solve this problem. Method 1 involves the range multiplier, approaching the problem as a constraint optimization issue. Here, our objective function is f of a, b, c equals a square plus 4b square plus c square with the constraint g of a, b, c equals a plus b plus c minus 1 and it is 0. The Lagrange multipliers method helps to find local maxima and minima of a function under such equality constraints. The Lagrange function is L of a, b, c lambda which is f minus lambda g and is equal a square plus 4b square plus c square minus lambda of a plus b plus c minus 1. Setting the partial derivative with respect to a, del l del a equals 2a minus lambda equals 0 implies lambda equals 2a. Similarly, performing partial derivative with respect to b and c, we obtain lambda equals 8b and lambda equals 2c respectively. Solving the system of equations, we find c equals to a and b equals to a over 4. Substituting this into a plus b plus c gives us 9a over 4 equals 1. Hence, a equals 4 over 9. Substituting back, we obtain a, b, c equals 4 over 9, 1 over 9, 4 over 9. Substituting this into the original function f of a, b, c, we find the minimum value to be 4 over 9. This concludes method 1. Now for method 2. Here, we use the concept of vector dot product, a fundamental operation in vector algebra. We define vectors u as 1, half 1 and v as a 2b c. The dot product of u and v give us a plus b plus c which equals 1 per our condition. Considering the magnitude of u and v, the magnitude of u is 3 over 2 and that of v is square root of a square plus 4b square plus c square. Note that the expression under the square root is the expression we aim to minimize. Since the dot product of u and v is the product of their magnitudes and cosine of the angle between them, we derive an inequality from this relationship as follows. Simplifying, we find that a square plus 4b square plus c square is at least 4 over 9. We must check if the equality is achievable. It holds if and only if u is parallel to v, meaning u equals to kv for some constant k. Solving this, we arrive at the same conclusion as method 1, that is, a, b, c equals 4 over 9, 1 over 9, 4 over 9. Therefore, the minimum value of the expression is 4 over 9. This concludes method 2. Now, method 3 involves using the Cauchy inequality. We state that the summation of x squared times the summation of y squared is at least the square of the summation of xy 
with equality holds if and only if xi over yi equals xj over yj for all i not equals j. Applying this, we find 1 plus 1 of 4 plus 1 times a square plus 4b square plus c square is at least a plus b plus c square. Hence, 9 over 4 times a square plus 4b square plus c square is at least 1. Implying a square plus 4b square plus c square is at least 4 over 9. Equality holds if and only if a equals 4b equals c. Thus, a, b, c equals 4 over 9, 1, 9, 4 over 9. And the minimum value of this expression is 4 over 9. This concludes method 3. In conclusion, we represented three different methods for this problem, all giving the answer of 4 over 9. While we have successfully solved the problem, practicing what we have learned is always beneficial. Using a similar method as shown, I believe you can solve the following question. Feel free to try it and share your answer in the comments. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.